Hi, I'm Celestina Brunetti, a chef and nutritionist. Welcome to Cooperative Extension's Kitchen. Today, I will be showing you how to make the salmon patty recipe from the Eating Smart, Being Active cookbook developed for the FNEP program. This recipe makes six one patty servings, takes about 20 minutes to prepare, and about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Today, we'll be using celery, which is an excellent source of vitamin K, a green bell pepper, which is an excellent source of vitamin A and C, and it'll help add some color to this dish. An onion, which can be beneficial for your heart. Next we have salmon, which is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, which promote heart health. Lemon juice to add a little flavor, eggs to help bind the patties, breadcrumb and flour, again, to help bind the patties, and a little bit of vegetable oil. It's important to wash your vegetables with cold water before you use them. I've done so with my vegetables. Today, we'll be using a chef knife and a cutting board. If you don't have a chef knife at home, you can use a paring knife and a plate. When holding a chef knife, it's important to, sh to hold it like you're shaking someone's hand. Have a nice firm grip on it. We're first gonna start with the celery. Cut about a quarter inch off the top and a quarter inch off the bottom. Turn the celery over, run your knife through the center and again through the center. With a claw hand in your non-knife hand, make slices to bite-sized pieces of celery. For this dish, we need a quarter cup of celery. We'll place this into our prep bowl. Next, we'll be cutting our green bell pepper. Slice through the center of the pepper and remove the seeds and ribs from the inside. Cut through the center of the pepper. You want to make small slices from one end to the other. Spin the slices 90 degrees. We only need a tablespoon of the pepper. We can add this to the prep bowl. Next, we'll be cutting our onion. There are two parts to the onion, the tip and the root. We'll first be cutting off the tip. You will then have created a flat surface to put the onion down on. Just slice through the root of the onion. Hold half off to the side and remove the skin from one half. Using your knife sideways, slice from where you cut the tip off back to the root of the onion without slicing through the root. Do this several times from the bottom to the top of the onion. Make several slices through the onion from the top to the bottom. Make slices from where the tip was to the root. We need about a third of a cup of the onion. We can place this into our prep bowl. With the remaining half of the onion and the pepper, you can place these in plastic wrap and then put them in the refrigerator for use in another dish. Next, we'll be opening up our can of salmon. Using a can opener, pop the lid and then continue to open the can, leaving a little bit attached at the end. Using your pointer finger to hold back the lid, pour half a cup of the juice into a liquid measuring cup. If the amount of liquid from the can does not make half a cup, fill the remaining half cup up with water until it meets, until it meets that mark. We can now put our salmon into our prep bowl. Hold this liquid off to the side. We're going to add lemon juice next to our prep bowl. In a separate small prep bowl, crack two eggs. Using a fork, whisk the eggs. I have a third of a cup of breadcrumbs measured out, and be sure when you're measuring that it's flat to the top of the cup. We're going to add this to the eggs. Add two tablespoons of flour and whisk. Add the half cup of the salmon and water liquid to this bowl as well. Whisk until well combined. We can take our prep bowl from before and add our liquid mixture to it. Using the fork, combine all of the ingredients together. We can preheat our pan and add a little bit of oil. Our pan has preheated. Now using a one third cup measure, we can scoop some of the mixture out and into the pan. So it's been about four minutes and they're looking nice and crispy on the bottom. So it's time to flip our patties. We will allow them to cook for about four more minutes on the other side or until golden brown. So it's been about 10 minutes in total and our patties are perfectly golden brown on both sides. So we can take them off of the heat and place them on a plate lined with paper towel. The paper towel is so that the remainder of the oil is absorbed. So you wanna keep them on the paper towel for about a minute. These are a great weeknight meal. You can serve this alongside a great salad. I'm gonna try a little bite. These are delicious salmon cakes. 
The onion and the pepper and the celery are all still a little crispy, but the salmon's warmed perfectly through and has a nice crunch on the outside. This is delicious. I'm Celestina Brunetti. Thank you for joining me today in Cooperative Extension's Kitchen.